Hello, good morning, and welcome to the next video tutorial I've been doing on my series about decentralized exchanges or DEXs. And in this video, we're going to turn our focus back to the Phantom ecosystem by taking a look at SpookySwap. Now, here's what you're going to learn about in this video. We're going to be taking a look at XBoo, how you get XBoo, what you can do with it, the fact that it's very similar to liquid staking or a staking derivative, like something you would see on a P stake or a Lido. And I'm going to go ahead and go through a number of transactions here. So I'm going to be harvesting up some Boo rewards, very little. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to convert that Boo or those Boo rewards into XBoo. And we're going to take a look at the access that you have to a number of different assets. And what's different about the liquidity or liquid staking, staking derivatives. And again, I'm going to use those terms and they don't apply exactly to what's going to happen with the XBoo, but it's, it's very, very close. So you're going to see that you have access to a number of different assets that you can then earn, not boo for staking those XBoo tokens, but you can actually earn that other native asset. So let's go ahead and dive in again. Before we do any type of financial transactions here, please know that everything in this video tutorial is provided on an as is and as available basis. You agree that any use of this information is entirely your own risk. I'm not an investment advisor. This is not an investment advice. It's not tax advice. It's not legal advice, financial or otherwise. And again, nothing in my video constitutes a solicitation, recommendation, endorsement or offer by myself or any other third party. I'm not liable for the loss of any fiat assets, tokens or fees that you incur as a result of following the steps that are presented here. And again, remember, everything in here is, um, I should say, is just for general information, entertainment, and educational purposes only. That is it. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about what we can do here under this stake boo tab. Now you'll see that they lay it out. They make it super, super easy to follow here. So you can basically stake your boo and you're going to earn 39.72% again, approximately, and this is obviously subject to change, but you can earn 39% on your boo and you can earn boo, right? And so that's actually what you're earning. And then you could claim that boo and compound it here, or you could use it for something else. Now, what's neat about this is when you do this, when you stake your boo, they're going to give you X boo. Now, what could you do with X boo? And this is where we get into that sort of liquid staking, um, staking derivative conversation. So you stake your boo, you receive X boo, and they show you right up here uh, that excuse me, one X boo is 1.7488 boo. Now you get that X boo, you can come down here and stake that and earn tokens of your choice, right? So if you wanted to earn foo or treeb or font or LQDR or TUSD, and you can see here, I did some testing uh, for Hector Finance, which is um, a token and a project that I'm very interested in. Uh, but again, here are all of the available tokens that you can earn with that XBOO. And so what's happening is you're earning 39% today on the BOO that you stake. When you stake that BOO, you're being given a derivative, a staking derivative. And that's just a sort of a fancy way of saying you're being given this other token which were what they, they call here XBoo. And so then you can take that XBoo and then you can go and stake that in these other pools and earn these native tokens. So again, you're not earning Boo when you take your XBoo and stake it here. You're going to be earning these native tokens that are listed here. So the use case is you want to earn some alpaca. Well, you could go ahead and you could stake your XBoo here and you can earn some alpaca. Now, one of the nice things about these pools is that maybe you don't know about these tokens. Maybe you want to learn a bit something ab about these tokens. You can just simply click on the pool and you can see here it's going to be C token info. Now, it does this whether you are staking in the pool or not. You can come down and take a look at the project site. You could even add it to MetaMask. And this is another huge thank you on my part. I hate having to go search for contract addresses to find tokens to add to MetaMask. So you can literally just click on add to MetaMask and it's going to add it for you right here. So it makes it super simple. And the same is true of XBoo. Display XBoo in your wallet. You click on it. It's going to show up in your MetaMask wallet. It's that simple to add these 
other assets and tokens to your MetaMask wallet. So let's go ahead and walk through the process and I'm gonna show you exactly what's gonna happen here. So I'm over here farming with some other pairs and you can see I'm doing FTM brush and FTM boo. And again, not a whole lot to speak of here, but that's okay. Let's harvest that up and we'll get to see that we're gonna be paying an FTM and it looks like almost 0.1 FTM to make this happen. We'll click confirm uh, and we're gonna to have to confirm again because we've got two claims that we're making here, right? We're claiming the assets from both. Now, as you see, they should zero out here saying that the transaction is completed. However, my recommendation is to always come up, click on the MetaMask wallet, and this is sort of the definitive view as to is the claim processed, is it complete? And so it is. Also, make sure you keep Phantom FTM in your MetaMask wallet because that is what you're paying for uh, you're paying with for all the transaction fees. So I always keep five to seven FTM in my wallet just in case. All right, so these have zeroed out, meaning I've got all my, uh, my claims. So I've harvested up my boo. So now let's come over here to stake boo. So how do you stake it? Literally, you simply click on stake. I'm gonna go ahead and do the max, which right now is 0.69 in my wallet. I'll click confirm. Again, we've got another fee payable in FTM. It's gonna be 0.1 FTM. And you're gonna see that that staking transaction is gonna complete here. And you can see claimable boo, which is 825. And that's how much boo I've put in here. And so again, this is the boo that I have staked, right? Uh, and again, it's auto automatically or auto magically compounding for you, <clears throat> excuse me. And so you should see uh, this kind of change to reflect that 39.81% APR approximate that you're earning. And you can see it's over a seven day average. So again, this is where you see the representation of the boo that you have staked in order to receive X boo. All right, so you see here it says display XBoo in wallet. Well, let's go take a look at that and see now that I've put some boo in there and stake the boo, it's all the way down here at the bottom. And you can see we've got 0.39693 XBoo, right? So what can I do with that? Well, I'm gonna come down here and let's say we, oops, sorry, I didn't wanna go too far. Let's say we wanna do take a look at Alpaca, right? Well, if you click on see token info, it's gonna take you and show you the token info about Alpaca. We'll give that, it does take a second or two for these pages to load. So let's go ahead and you could look at the project site. All right, so legendary yield farming here, Alpaca Finance. So what if I wanted to take this expo and earn Alpaca? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna add Alpaca to my MetaMask wallet. We'll go ahead and click on add token. And then from here, we're gonna do the staking. Now, you'll notice <clears throat> excuse me, then when I click max, it's gonna take all of the expo that we had there, which we saw in our MetaMask wallet, and we're gonna pay a small fee in FTM, and it's gonna allow me to stake that expo, and there you go. So $8.25 of expo has been staked, that represents 0.3969 expo, and now I'm earning an APR of 58.37%, but the key is I'm earning alpaca. Right. So and in a lot of cases, when you're, uh, you know, if you go to Liquid Driver or Spirit Swap or some of those other sites, you know, when you're doing the liquidity provider pooling where you're taking two tokens, putting them together as an LP pair and then staking those in the pool, you're earning their token. Right. So on Liquid Driver, you're earning LQDR on Spirit Swap, you're earning Spirit again. Here, it's a little bit different. Again, this is kind of like liquid staking. And I mentioned uh, Lido and P-Stake. And these are two sites where you can come in with other tokens that you can stake, right? Solana, Polygon, Kasama. And when you stake those tokens here, and we'll use Lido as an example, let's say I've got some Polygon that I wanna stake. Well, you would click stake now. You're gonna earn 8.7% on that Polygon Matic. However, in return for staking the Matic, you're gonna receive ST Matic or staked Matic, a derivative, right? So you're gonna be given this other derivative asset and they call it a staking derivative, which I can then take and go out and pair it with some other token as a liquidity pair, an LP pair, 
and stake those in a pool. Again, the difference here with what we're looking at at on Spooky Swap is I'm literally taking Boo, just one token Boo, I'm staking it, and I'm being given a staking derivative as part of liquid staking. And the reason they call it liquid staking is the X Boo that I get, it's liquid. I can go out and use that and earn other APR with that X Boo liquid staking token, right? Or that staking derivative that I've been given. And so I don't need to pair it with anything. And that's kind of where this diverges from what you see on P-Stake and Lido stake uh, in Lido is I don't need to pair it with anything in order to take that staking derivative and start earning APR. And pretty cool, I'm earning it. Uh, I'm earning these native tokens, or these are the options available here at Spooky Swap, right? All right, so as you can see, it's kind of already starting to count up. I, not too much in there, but you know, hey, we'll just put it in here, let it sit in here for as uh, long as we can. It looks like this is going to run for 36 days, and there are differences in the uh, duration of these. And if you click on the one that you're interested in, it'll show you the duration. Uh, oops, sorry. When you get down here, uh, it'll also show you a single stake, right? So IFO boo single stake. And so... Uh, Again, I'm not going to touch on that because we're focused here on these. Uh, but again, it's going to show you how long these are going to run. The Hector is going to run for 27 days. Uh, this is 45 days. So be sure to take a look into this and find out uh, what the duration is going to be, at which point if it were to end, you would come in and you would go ahead and you could harvest up or unstake and it's going to harvest up for you. All right, well, that is all I've got for this video tutorial. Uh, the one last thing, final thing, is I... Uh, stumbled upon this. You can actually switch your theme here to the dark theme. Uh, I used to have it as a light theme and not a big fan of that. A little rough on the eye. So just click on the moon. It'll flip it over here to the spooky swap uh, dark theme. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. You know, best of luck to you out there staking. And this is, again, a great opportunity to take your boo, earn some APR on that right around 39%, receive a staking derivative, which is that X boo token. And then you can run off stake that and earn other native tokens from other projects that are listed out there on that stake boo page. All right. Again, as always, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.